Hi, hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. In this video, I will discuss about the Salesforce Virtual Internship Grand Assessment. To access the Grand Assessment, first of all, we need to log into this MySkillWallet.ai website. If you log in, then the page will looks like this. From here, just scroll down to the last. Here, click on this Access Resource button. Again, click on this Access Resource button. Then you will get all of these tabs and to unlock the assessment first of all we need to complete this course details tab so click on this course details here we can see there are five courses and we need to complete each and every course which is there and we should get this hundred percent progress for each and every course once you completed all of these five courses here click on this assessment tab so here we can see that the program assessment salesforce vip and then begin assessment button if you are ready to take the assessment then click on this begin assessment then it will ask for the confirmation ready to begin your assessment so here click on this begin assessment again after that it will ask for the permissions for your microphone and also for the camera and you need to allow the access for both of those after selecting these two checkboxes, just click on this next button. So here we can see the assessment details are available and the name of the assessment is Salesforce Grand Assessment and the duration is 60 minutes, questions are 60 and the total marks are also 60. So we need to complete 60 questions in 60 minutes of time. It is a proctored exam so the camera and microphone will be triggered throughout the exam. Here click on this take picture button. After that, you need to upload that picture. For that, click on this upload button. After uploading the picture, we can start the exam. And if you are ready to take the exam and you are ready to spend 60 minutes of time to complete this exam, then only click on this start assessment. Otherwise, don't click on that start assessment because the assessment can be taken only once and the passing percentage of this assessment is more than 50%. And try to score more than 60 percentage it will be better and you will have high chances for the career fair if you score less than 50 percentage then you might not be eligible for the career fair keep that in mind and complete the assessment carefully and try to score more than that once you are ready and you can able to spend 60 minutes of time then click on the start assessment button i have taken some of the questions from this assessment now i will show the 10 questions of them so this is the interface of this assessment here your video will be recorded and here we can see that question 1 out of 60 and we can skip the questions and here you can see the total number of questions that we answered and the total number of questions that we didn't answer yet and the first question is how should a custom user interface be provided when a user edits an account in lightning experience so this question is related to the lightning web components and all and the correct option is the fourth option that is override the accounts edit button with lightning page so let's see the second question which option accurately describes the impact of changing a master detail relationship to a lookup relationship so when we change the data type from master detail relationship to lookup relationship then the existing sale records will get the same association with the master records so here the correct option is option 3 that is existing sale records retain their association with the master record let's see the next question what is the maximum number of records that can be processed by a trigger at a time so at a time the trigger can be processed maximum of 200 records after that it will take another 200 of records like that let's see the next question which event is used to communicate between child components to parent components in a lightning web component so the event we use it to communicate is this dispatch event so the correct option is option 4 and the next question is which three data types can a SOQL query return so we need to select three options for this question and the correct options are 
list and then integer and finally s object so we will use all of these three data types in this sqql query the next question is how many accounts will be inserted by the following block of code so this is the block of code and here it asks for how many accounts will be inserted so actually the loop is running from 0 to 500 and we all will think that it will be insert 500 number of records but it is not possible at a time the dml manipulations can be done only 150 records after that it will be rolled back so once it will be rolled back then all the inserted records also deleted so the current option here is option 2 that is 0 the next question is what is an apex interface so the apex interface is nothing but set of methods so here the correct option is one a way to define a set of methods that a class must implement the next question is what is the purpose of a static variable in apex triggers so static variables are used to store the data when the trigger executes so here the correct option is option one and the next question is which three web technologies can be integrated into a LWC? So we all seen that the lightning web components, we will use the technologies like HTML, CSS and this JavaScript. So we need to select all of these three options. And the next question, a developer is asked to prevent anyone other than a user with sales manager profile from changing the opportunity status to close or lost if the lost reason is blank which automation allows the developers to satisfy this requirement in the most efficient manner so we should need to tell the most efficient manner so the order of the most efficient one is first of all we need to use the validation rules if that is not possible then we will go with the flows otherwise we will move with the apex triggers so here in this case what we will use this the validation rules so the correct option is option 2 an error condition formula on your validation rule on opportunity so like this the questions will be there so you will need to learn all the concepts that are told in the sessions and also all the concepts that we used in the trailhead modules completion mostly the questions will be from the lightning web components or else the agent force and also validation rules and the data types mostly these concepts will be available and learn all that concepts and then try to attempt the assessment correctly and try to score more than 60 percentage you can complete this assessment before 31st once you complete all of the trailhead modules and also the skill valid modules then do attempt this assessment and complete it before 31st only so this is about the salesforce virtual internship grand assessment share our channel to your friends that's it thank you